Hello and welcome. Now you have understand how you can install view application using the view CLI and graphical user interface. Now let us dive deep into the view JS framework and learn some of their core features. So I'm not going to go through to A to Z of the Vue.js. Of course I will teach you everything you need to know, but I will not go like alphabetically from top to bottom. Because when you are learning a framework, that is not the ideal way. The ideal way is to to do it in practically so that you can learn where to, where to use something and and how you can combine some of their features together. That is how you learn a framework. At least for me it, it was like that. If you are learning a programming language, it is good to start from A to Z. But for a framework, there are so many things you will learn as you are going to build your application. That's why I, I will take this approach. Besides that, we have used Vue CLI, we have created our application, and there are most of the things here. If I go from A to Z, there are so many things you will become confused. That's why I will uh, go my own approach. This is a lot easy and a lot uh, better to understand the concept of any framework. So starting with the component, what is a component in Vue.js? Uh, basically a component is a single f uh, view instance which is reusable. That is the basic definition. But how you how you say that one? When we created our application, we have a component folder here. If I open this one, we have a hello world dot view. Any file any file in a uh, file in Vue.js with with a view extension, they they are uh, they are having a different syntax. They are called the view template. If I open this one. This is a view file. You cannot open this one directly in browser because browser cannot read this one. Even JavaScript file, it is not a JavaScript file. This is what web package is going to read it. And if I open the package.json here, we have a, a template compiler here. This is a package. What this is going to do is this is going to search for any file which have a dot view component and it will convert it to a JavaScript file. That's why we have it here. This is the power of Vue.js team who built the template for the developing your application. Now anytime you want to create a component, there are different ways. But what they did, there is an easy way like you have single file component, by default they have one hello world. So what the component is used for? So if I come to explain you a practical example, this is the website of Vue.js. It consists of different components. Let's say this is a navigation. And inside the navigation you have different item here these are the sidebar you have tag for them but what if you want to have a design with tag also you have a search this search is reusable let's say you have a search component and you want to use this anywhere in your application it would be cool like if you have something like that so that is the power of component if you still you are confused i will open the bootstrap you all know that this is the most famous framework so any of them have something called component any of the and css framework they have they have a section called component so if i come to the documentation to the component section here let's say this is an alert this is an alert uh, let's say there are different types of alerts and they are component but if i come and check the code we have used div so what if instead of div we had an alert we, we could add a clause and that would be a lot reusable in future, if you are supposed to do something with that, you all you have to do is just open the alert.view file and bring the changes. That is a lot easy. Also, I have an old project here. Let's say this is an old project which uh, traditionally we used to use. Like you have your JavaScript file separately, everything is separate, but you have an app.js. And what this app.js is going to do, this is going to contain all your JavaScript file. What if in future you want to change that single function? You have to come here search all the way down and that is a lot of complexity that's why we don't use that one what you can do is you can use view component if i open the hello world component here for now we have one component here so if i scroll down what you have doing uh, you have here is you have the javascript section here you can write all your javascript which is related to the current component you can write all your style which is related to current component here and you can write all your html here so as you can see, this is a lot easy when you are developing any big application. In the future, if you want to change something, all you have to do is find the component. Of course, you have to give your component a very nice name so that in future you can find them easily. This is how you can do that one. 
so this is the basic uh, uh, concept of component and why you use it it will make uh, your life a lot easy in future if I come here you have card you have carousel and it's, yeah you have carousel here if I scroll down this is the slider what if you have the carousel tag and you could use them you can use component inside component it is a lot easy to use that's why when a modern framework come like view react angular they will come with uh, something the concept of component component will just divide your application into into different pieces and then you can use them anywhere you want so this concept is like sharing everywhere but the questions come here how come you can write all your html here if you are really curious about this one this is going to use the something a concept called jsx jsx is basically if you heard of jsx somewhere think of it uh, using html in javascript that is the basic definition like you can write all your html tag in such in the javascript and they will compile your code into a vanilla javascript letter so that is the concept of uh, the concept of jsx if you are really curious about learning it that's why we can uh, write all our html css and javascript and combine them all together so i hope it has been informative for you this was the basic of component and as we go i will explain more about components and i will give you some tips and tricks how you can use different type of component and how you can make it uh, reusable like you can make uh, it reusable the thing is you have to do some best practices that you should not face some problem in future